Willkommen von Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, Germany is where we're going to be spending the next few days. This whole area we're in is called Rhineland, or the German state is known as North Rhine-Westphalia. What's really unique about this area is that it's actually one of the most populous areas in Germany just because there are so many different cities all along the Rhine River. And they're all very, very close to each other, so that's great for us because we have an opportunity to explore a lot of different places in a very short amount of time. So we're starting our day off in Dusseldorf here at the Königs Alley, which translates to King's Alley. This is one of the major shopping streets here in Dusseldorf and a really nice picturesque canal. Definitely feels good to be back in Dusseldorf. I had a really, really fun time last time I was here about... This is five years ago now yeah. yeah now this is my first time in Dusseldorf my, also my first time in Rhineland, is Rhineland. That how you say it? and I feel like people kind of overlook this region a little bit yeah when they come to Germany they want to go to Berlin they want to go to Munich but I'm really excited to explore this part of Germany first of all the thing we noticed right away in the coffee shop was no one was wearing masks in there oh they weren't no oh I didn't realize that at all and that's why I was like why don't you have your mask on do you want to get kicked out <laughs> We've been very cautious about that because especially in Germany when we were in Hamburg, it was a big deal. We were asked about our vaccination pass everywhere we went. And our passport. Yeah, they wanted well, to see identification. They want to see all of it. <laughs> and I think that's kind of loosening up. I think actually the last day we were in Hamburg, they uh, officially lifted that requirement. So yeah, a little bit nicer, a little bit more free now. And, oh my uh, God, look at these houses. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Altstadt is the place to be. We're gonna go check out the Rathaus, because we've seen a few of them now. Don't you just love the that word? Rathaus. I mean, City Hall, we saw one in Vienna, we saw one in Hamburg. So let's go check out Dusseldorf's. So this is basically the main square within the Altstadt of Dusseldorf. Altstadt translates to Old Town. So this is kind of the area where people hang out. All of the traffic is pedestrian. All of the streets are cobblestone. And all of these buildings are just so cool around here as well. When I said Rat House to my friend Max, he was like, what are you talking about? Oh, Rat House. So that's the city hall. A little more subdued than some of the German cities we've seen, but also very, very nice. Very nice. And it's just, Dusseldorf, it's just got its charm. There's no other way to say it. A cool thing that I've noticed here in Dusseldorf is if you look down at the cobblestones, the in-between rubber which connects all the bricks together, and maybe it's just dirt, beer bottle caps have been stomped on into the rubber. I know it's kind of littering, but now it almost feels like art underneath your feet. We are on the Rhine River. So the Rhine River runs through the west of Germany. And as we mentioned before, there's a lot of cities that are right on the river, including Cologne, Bonn, Duisburg, even going up to like Essen and Dortmund. They're all kind of in this area. What's so cool about that is you can drive 15 to 20 minutes in between these cities and you're in a whole new place. They're not that similar to each other. So they all kind of have their own history and their own unique flair. There is a lookout in the city of Bonn where you can actually see Cologne and Bonn at the same time. So we're towards the north of both of those cities. Dusseldorf is the furthest north of the three. But all three of these major cities are 15, 20 minutes apart. Does anyone know what these trees are called? We've seen them everywhere and I'm just starting to call them knobby trees because they've got little knots and bumps on the sides of their limbs. Why does it remind me of Dr. Seuss? I don't know, but they're so lovely. So please let me know in the comments if you know what these trees are called. I'd love to know. <laughs> seems like we have Dusseldorf to ourselves today. There's not a lot going on yet. This is uh, St. Lambertus uh, Basilica behind us. We're just walking towards the park. This is really just peaceful. And I just love, I love these parts of Germany where it's just like the cool architecture. It just feels so old and there's a lot of history here. I love the black pointed roofs on some of these old structures. I don't know if it's Germanic, but to me it looks very Germanic. 
It almost looks like a castle. And the dark bricks, we're seeing this everywhere too, especially in Hamburg, but here in Dusseldorf as well. It's so beautiful. I don't know. We're literally the only people in this courtyard. Everything just looks so picturesque right now. Even though there's not a lot of action on the streets right now, it's just very peaceful and especially when you're walking down like these old cobblestone streets with these old lamps. I don't know, I just feel very at peace. I would agree with that. We're also walking past this church and you can literally hear the organ being played indoors and so cool. Like Mike said, there's not a ton of people out, but I I love that. I, I don't mind that at all. So right now we're gonna go to the Fuchsian Browery. Oh I probably said that so bad. Browery Fuchsian. <laughs> Fuchsin Brewery. It means the Fox's Brewery, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is a place that my friend German Max recommended. The reason we're gonna go here is because they serve Alt beer. Which I have not had. So Alt is the traditional beer here in Dusseldorf. And we're gonna be talking a lot more about it because there's actually a very strong rivalry between Cologne and Dusseldorf. They both have their own style of beer. So in Cologne, it's Kolsch. And you've probably heard of Kolsch before because it's served all over the world. I know I've had it in the, in the States a couple times, but you just can't beat having it in Cologne. And here in Dusseldorf, they prefer the Alt beer, which is a little bit stronger, a little bit darker. So it is a very, very fierce rivalry between these two beers and these two cities. And since I haven't tried either of them, I think it's the best experiment for me to taste both and really settle this debate once and for all. Absolutely. Although there's going to be a lot of people from Dusseldorf and Cologne in the comment section coming after us because it's a very, very hot debate. But you have fresh taste buds. Mm -hmm. I haven't had them for a while either. So and we're on our way to try our first, well, my first alt. So here we are at the Fuchsian Brewery. I've been here once before, just bringing back all of these memories. This is some really, really good beer, so I'm excited. Also some really, really good uh, traditional German food. We're about to have the best experience. Okay, Sydney Valman, your very first alt. Prost. Prost. That's nice. Pleasantly surprised, actually. Nice. I was thinking it was gonna be a lot heavier than it is. It's light, contrary to what it looks like. It's a very light beer, and it's got a good bite at the end, which I love. The reason I thought you might like it as you take your second sip here is because the consistency is light, but then the flavor is there. It's the very beer. full, yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting to like this. <laughs> Do sort of just uh, ignore that last comment. <laughs> Max is gonna talk about this next. So the way that beer is served here in this region of Germany is in smaller glasses. So you can see this, this glass isn't that big, but the great thing about it is that unless you tell them you don't want any more, they just come around and fill it up as soon as it's empty. The thinking about this is that the way that the alcohol hits your bloodstream is in a little bit better of a pace, so you can enjoy it a little more. It's not like you're having these big glasses and then you just get too drunk too quickly. It's just a very nice pace for the alcohol to enter your system. And the way that they keep track of it is through the coaster. So you can see we have two ticks on the coaster here. We're gonna see how many ticks we can get up to, uh, but every time you get a small glass and then you get a new one, they just mark it on there, and it's simple as that. So we've gotten ourselves a couple of Sauerbraten. This is a traditional German pot roast, and it's actually made in a very specific way here in Rhineland, in this region of the country. So you see the way that the gravy is just all over, served with uh, red cabbage, and then also with some potatoes. Let's dig in. So this is a marinated pot roast, and you can tell it's just so soft when you cut into it, so tender. Let's try it. Mm. The sauce is like almost sweet and it pairs so well with the marination. It's just mm, amazing. This is very traditional German right here. Sehr gut. Sydney's about to have her very first taste of sauerbraten. Wow. It's so sweet. Yeah. The gravy and the pork roast is just. So tender. It just melts. Oh my god, this is amazing. Zupa. And how does it pair with your alt? Mm. 
one sec. Perfect combo. <laughs> We've decided, at least for now, that we're tapping out, we're gonna move to another place. This is what we ended up with, so that is eight ticks. Not too bad. I think we could have done a little better, but we're just uh, still kind of digesting the food, so that's what we got so far. So, Sydney, let the people know what they want to hear. Your first alt experience. I've got to say, my first alt experience was pretty solid. I knew going in it was a dark beer, so I expected it to be heavy, like a Guinness or a stout or something like that. But I was pleasantly surprised. It was like a medium amber color, very light, but they do catch up with you for sure. Um, yeah, when we were leaving there, I was kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> we will be in Cologne later on this week but alt is what you do in Dusseldorf, so there will be no Kolsch had today. Zero Kolsch. Yes. So we're just taking a little walk through the Hof Garden, this park right by where we were at the Fuchsian Brewery, and look at all these birds just hanging out. I guess Dusseldorf, come for the beer, stay for the aquatic bird life. This is probably the closest we've ever been to a swan and we saw him wake up and then go in the water. So as we've kind of done a full circle around the Dusseldorf main central area, I keep thinking back to what Sydney said when we first got here. Just the fact that this isn't really somewhere that a lot of tourists come. Usually if you're coming to Germany from the States or from somewhere else, you're coming to Munich, you're coming to Berlin, perhaps Hamburg. But honestly, this is just so charming and so, like the, the pace of everything is so nice. Some of the best beer we've ever had in our lives. So why not just stop in Dusseldorf for Cologne for one or two days and get a little bit of a different side of the country. So when we started this journey, we were mostly going to the capital cities, and yes, the capitals of Romania, Bulgaria, places a little bit more off the beaten path, but still capital cities. And it's nice to actually just remove yourself from that for a little bit and be in a place like this. We're, we're really enjoying our time here, and I think you're gonna see a lot more of that as time goes on. Just places that are a little bit more off the beaten path and not something that every tourist in Europe is gonna see. So this is the next one up on our alt tour. This is the Schumacher alt. Goes without saying, brewed in Dusseldorf. And here's our two ticks. See if we can do better than eight. Mm -mm. <laughs> so you are now a Dusseldorfa. Dusseldorfa. How does it feel? It feels good. Now we did feel some pressure on this video because we have some friends that are from this area. So if they or any other Dusseldorfers out there want to drop in the comment section anything we missed, we will be back later on this week so we can try to scoop up some of those suggestions later. Okay, so this place I've been to before, La Riga, La Riga. And they have their own alt as well. So we and must try it. It's tapped from like a big oak barrel almost looking <laughs> thing. And they just have a tap on the bottom. So it's very traditional, very old. This is gonna be our last alt beer of the night because we do have to get home to the suburbs. But let's try one more and see how it compares. That's a good one. That's a really good one. It's so easy to order here. Like you just find a place and they come to you with a beer because it's all that anyone's ordering. You look around and everyone is drinking alt. Everyone's drinking from these glasses, it's the same color beer. How could you not? Win and do so long. <laughs> okay, so it might be a tie between the Fuchsian and this one, but definitely top, top alt right here. Dusseldorf. So that's gonna be it for our impromptu alt tour. <laughs> I think that in some younger days we would have been out all night. What was it, 14 or 16? of the small glasses between the both of us, so. You think? We did all right. Well, yeah, we had eight at the Fuchsian, we had three, three. and then we had three. Two. Okay, so, oh, we had two, right, yeah. okay. So we had 13, not 14. But yeah, let us know if we missed anything, if we missed any good alts. Yeah, um, what's your favorite alt? Leave it down below for us. Yeah, let us know. That's gonna be it for Dusseldorf, and we will be back later this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also, if you're interested, uh, check out our newsletter. 
Uh, the link is in the description. See you in another video.